Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Pete and Brad are finally taking off. Morning one way five. There's caution for birds on us in the airport. They have a giant marathon ahead of them. 10,000 miles from the sandy beaches of Florida all the way to the Philippine jungles. Yes, the redoodle. Next stop's only eight hours away. Today, they'll fly over 2,000 miles and stop in Utah to refuel. At least, that was the plan. Because now, the Cheyenne is showing her age all over again. We've got ice all over this windscreen, and it sucks. I can't see anything. Nothing. No heater. See the heater? Nothing. There's no heater. Up at 23,000 feet, the temperature outside drops to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and that cold is seeping into the cabin. We got things freezing up. We got nuts and bolts freezing up. We got a windshield that won't defrost. It's just one thing after another. Let me start making a list, dude, because this is crap. Here, why don't we start here with the LEDs you said are burnt out? OK, LEDs. I'm going to put heater slash defrost, because... Yeah, the defrost. We have a multitude of avionics problems going on up here. Yes. Things that are in-op, they're not labeled in-op. Prop the ice. I wonder if I should even go there. Not now. Please don't do it. <laughs> if the de-icers don't de-ice the props, flying across Alaska and northern Russia will be a game of airborne Russian roulette because the icy conditions can shoot them down almost anywhere. I have zero confidence in this aircraft right now. Yeah. I will not fly this at night. I will not fly this in the weather. I will not fly this in the ice right now, period. I'm pretty much on board with that. As soon as this plane touches down, she's headed straight back to the hangar with just one-fifth of the journey behind her and 8,000 miles to go.